let's take a look at how to create a custom menu using ConvertX to DVD. Here we're going to add a video file and from here once the video file added we can click on the top option DVD options under my DVD and now we can click on the template and first of all select the menu template that we would like to use. We have a long list of various templates I'm going to select a glossy template. Now I've selected a template, I click on the check mark and that will allow me to see the menu template selected in the preview window on the right. Now what else do I have? In the I have title menu parameters. I can click on that plus sign and expand that a little bit more into the tree view. And let's see what else I'm going to have here that I can change. I can, in the title menu, I can change the text that is there by double clicking on that. Now this is the title of my title menu and I will call it um, Summer Vacation. Type that in there, Vacation. Enter. There we go. And I can see that in the right hand side of the window in the preview I can see that my new title has been put in place. Now I can also change the background video or the image of my template. I can do that by double clicking on that and say use a custom file um, and this can be a video or a still image. I'll go ahead and click on that and simply find an image that I would like to use. Alrighty and I don't seem to have any on this computer here it seems like but that's not really a, a big deal for DVD feature I see. well let's see here what I've got alright well I'm gonna leave that oh here we go actually I'll put in a, a video in behind that there we go now I check mark that now I can already see in the preview also I can see the video file that I've added for the background image now we can also see in the preview that there's a little thumbnail next to the title of my file um, that will show a clip of the video from the of the video that I can watch from the title menu. Um, now let's click on the title set. So this is the movie that will be converted, and in under the title set. I have the other basic settings about the conversion but now I also see in the title menu so there's options I can change here this is the text so if I want to change the way my title is going to show in the menu I can change that by double clicking on the text item and clicking on that check mark to activate the green circle here will tell me if my text is too long if it turns to red for example make it real long here. Apparently it doesn't mind. It can be very long here. There we go. So that is too long so I'm going to have to delete some of that to make it uh, not as long. There we go. I want to bring it all the way back to my original title. There we go. Check mark that. Great. And I can also uh, specify um, where exactly I'd like the video to be shown in this thumbnail here of the video that we'll be playing, the small video clip in the menu. Uh, if I want it to be at the an action scene, for example, at, oh, let's say, I don't know what uh, time period, let's say it's at uh, two minutes into the film. So I can check mark that as well. Well, here it's 125, but it's just an example. All right, and we also have menu parameters. So I can change the text because there's multiple menus. There's the text in the root menu, there's the text in the audio and subtitle settings, and the text in the chapter menus. These are pretty much basics. The menus are called either the settings menu or the chapters menu. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the text in the root menu, it will be the title of my film. Again, instead of, you know, I have some junk information that I don't really need in there, so I'm going to erase that. and keep it just so it's the title of the movie and not that it's a what for file format it is or uh, if it's in PAL or NTSC etc. Alright well uh, we also have more text in all of the buttons that we have 
Um, now, what the interesting part is, again, I can select the audio and the video that I'd like to be seen in the background. Um, background audio. So here, I can go ahead and um, use a sequence from the conversion, which sounds pretty good to me. Or I can go ahead and spe specify a custom file if I have, you know, if it's for Rocky, instead of having it start the dialogue of the film from Rocky, I can select, you know, a special song. Maybe I have the so a s soundtrack from Rocky I can use. All right. Now, check mark all of those things. And here we go. I'm good to go. We've covered all of the items for the menu. There is the DVD behavior that we can go over uh, at the very top under DVD options. But this was more about customizing the menu rather than the DVD's behavior once inserted.